For almost a decade now, I've walked around this earth with eyes open and camera in tow. I've watched the world happen from airplane windows, the back of tuk-tuks, subway platforms, train cars, city buses, the front of motorcycles, canoes, taxis, dockyards, sidewalks, alleyways, city parks, cafes, and in my own dreams. I've talked with people, made sure their eyes are open. I've walked with people, present in each and every moment. More than anything, I've listened and watched observed. And that is what has grown into initial descent. It was about 1 a.m. on the morning of March 23rd, 2005. The night sky above Singapore was dark, just like the night sky at home same stars, but this was 9,656 miles from my home, 15,540 kilometers. If I took a globe, marked my home, and then flipped it over and spun it around, this is pretty much where I was at, a fictional place of my imagination that was about to become very real. The sound of A Tribe Called Quest's electric relaxation thumping through my headphones was interrupted by an announcement from the PA. Ladies and gentlemen, as we have started our initial descent into Singapore Changi International Airport, may we ask you to please return to your seats? I leaned over from my seat, 21A on the left side window of the plane, and squinted at the dark water below, making out countless specks sitting peacefully between breaks in the clouds. What's it going to be like when this plane touches down, I wondered. It's illegal to chew gum here? And did they really hang that French girl who smuggled drugs? What makes their chili crab so special? As those lights got bigger and bigger, and the popping in my ears more and more pronounced, the equal parts fear and anticipation seeping visibly through my pores, the next thing I felt was a gentle thump on the ground. My plane had landed, and during that initial descent, initial descent had been born. Over the next several years, I tried to replicate that feeling as much as possible. On weekends, holidays, even sick days, I found new places to experience initial descent. Places where people were black or white and everything in between. Places that were hot or cold or largely went unseen. The culmination of those peaks and valleys, the highs and the lows, those discoveries, the concourses and alleys, the yeses and the noes, the recoveries, that is our initial ascent into today. Initial Descent is about observing one's surroundings, intended to offer a stripped-down glimpse into the way people live through art, imagery, and those very people themselves. For those of us lucky enough to experience Initial Descent into many locales and cultures, north and south, east and west, this is designed to whet our appetites. For those of us who cannot, we aim to make sure that they live Initial Descent in their own surroundings and can experience others virtually in this space. We have done everything we can to take the art, imagery, music, people, and stories we have been so fortunate to experience along this path and present it to you without filters, as wide-eyed observers rather than creators, absent of those personal biases we all clutch too tightly onto. Today, this is the world through our lenses. Tomorrow, we hope that the world will see it through yours. My name is Steve, and Initial Descent is my vision, a vision that can only be realized if you'll join me on this journey. Welcome to Initial Descent. <laughs>